Uh, so, Kathy Griffin does a, 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 a an eccentric photo shoot with you with Donald Trump. This was right when he was elected, right? Yeah. So this is 2017. Uh, yep. And uh, this is something that was like uh, I remember you told me you were getting like investigated by mm -hmm. the government on yes. this, and it was yes. a big thing because it was taken as a death threat, I guess. Correct. Yeah. Uh, how does that set up? Whose idea was it? And yeah. will you explain the drama to people who... Oh, yeah. So I have known Kathy for many years. I photographed her a couple of times. Um, she was at one of my galleries that you were at. And... Um, What's the name of that book for the gallery I went Pro to? Provocateur. Provocateur. Yep. And that's, uh, that's, that's not the same as the chainsaw for the Birkenbag. And a different book, yeah. No. Um, and I want to, if, if I'll, I think I'll remember, but at some point I want to go back to this Rolls Royce thing too, but let's okay, talk yeah. about the Kathy Griffin. So uh, Kathy comes to the gallery. Kathy's been a huge supporter of mine. Like I took this one photograph of, uh, a, of a black man in a swamp hanging a KKK member. And uh, this, is, this was, you know, probably six, five or six years ago. She posted it. I mean, this is way before all the Black Lives Matter movement, before any, this is, you know, years and years ago. Do you get in, still get in trouble for stuff like that? Like, because a lot of your pictures are so controversial. Do you like that? No, I mean, people just kind of leave me alone now. Yeah. You know, I've done it so many times. People are just like, oh, well. Right. Um, at least so I thought until the Kathy Griffin thing happened. Then that was a whole other... So you never worry at this point. You've done it enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, yeah, whatever I want. It's art. Everyone understands me. Yeah. I don't think everyone understands me, but I think that people are just like, he's crazy. He's going to do crazy stuff and, you know, leave him alone. South Park, I think, is a, is a good analogy Thanks. for that. That's great. That's a great example. So um, I go to shoot Kathy. We do all this stuff kind of out by her pool. Like I, I you know, just taking really weird kind of cool pictures of her making her look like she's like a glam, like supermodel, which I thought was funny. Um, so you have, you bring makeup? You have yeah, like they had, we had a whole thing, hair, makeup, the whole deal. She's in latex, whatever. So we kind of finished doing that shoot and she says, before you go, would you like to do anything political? I'd, lo I'd love to do something political. And, um, you know, I don't do a lot of political stuff. I just, you know, I just know kind of how to execute a photograph. So I said, what do you have in mind? She said, oh, I don't know. Like, we could do a play on the Cheetos. And I'm like, what is that? Like, I, you know, I didn't, I don't really follow politics. So I was like, oh, what, what does that mean? She goes, oh, Trump's hair is like Cheetos or something like that. So I said, eh, you know, there's nothing really there. Um, and she said, oh, you know, we have this Trump mask. I said, oh, okay, well, can I see it? And I said, do you have a blue suit? Because this was all unplanned. And so I said, ah, you know, this doesn't really work. We'd have to kind of cover it in blood. She goes, oh, well, we have, you know, we have the fake blood. I said, oh, okay, let me see it. So I take the mask. The hair, hairdresser puts, you know, a, a wig on it because Kathy has red hair. If she didn't have red hair, this photo never happens. So we kind of, you There's know. There's no wig already on the mask? No, no, no. It's, uh, it's kind of like a bald one that you have to put a thing on. But it is of Trump. It looks like Trump. Yeah. So we put it on. We do it. And uh, I said, you know, we'll do, we'll do it biblical. You'll hold the thing and, you know, we'll do it like that. She goes, okay, great. So we go to do the first picture and she goes, she, she does a big smile. I look, I said, no, 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 no smile. I'm just, just straight faced. She goes, okay, straight faced. I take one, two, three pictures. My roll of film is done. I'm out of film for the day. I say, that's it, I got it. Go home, go to the lab, develop the film. It's the last three pictures on the roll of film. I say, oh, that's, that's the one right there. Which they, one was it, one, two, or three? One. They scan it for me. One was her smiling, though. No, 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 I didn't take the smiling picture. I, w I went to, she does it, I don't take it, she, she uh, loses the smile, then I take the picture. Again, that's part of shooting on film. If I was shooting on digital, I would have just taken and you know whatever, uh, which you don't you know that you don't want that. So I take great example it, there. Thank you. So because I know I only have three shots left. Yeah. So I take I'm very careful with it. So I take them, pick the one, they scan it, they send it to me. I send it to Kathy. She's like, oh my god, I love this. This is awesome. You know, let's are we allowed to show this picture? Or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, she says, great. Let's uh, let's put it out ASAP. 
I say, okay. Now, here's a part of the story that no mm -hmm. one really knows. Uh, I had scheduled the photos to come out through a publication, right? Now, I can't say what publication, because I don't want to get anybody fired or anything like that, but I'd schedule them to come out through a publication. What does that mean to a public, like a magazine? Yes. So a nice, kind of cool, highbrow magazine. And you could just say, them. hey, I have a cool picture to this thing. And they're like, great, yeah. we'll put it in the next issue, just like that? Not in the next issue. This was all on, online. So this is, this is like, we're going to put it on the site. So it's, it's like be, press. Exactly. We're going to be top page, top, uh, you know, top of the site tomorrow, 8 a.m. It's going to go live. I say, great. So I go on my website. I schedule a post. Uh, and I schedule it for 8.15. Schedule a post. I, on my own website. So it's going to go live on theirs at 8, and then I gave them the exclusive. So at 8.15, what happened? The post is saying, go head over there? No, no, no. Just, just so that when people went to my site, the stuff was already gotcha. on my site. But I gave them a little bit of a window. So that night, I'm shooting until like 5 a.m., maybe finish around 6 or 7 a.m. So I go to sleep at like 7.30. Post goes live. I wake up at maybe like 9.30 a.m. Because, you know, I only sleep for a couple hours. And uh, I've got a flood of emails. And it's on TMZ. So what happened was the person who was supposed to, to do the post on the other website got on a plane, lost service, and was never able to post it. So it went on live on my site, and then TMZ picked it up because it was, you know, it was, on, it was on my site, I guess. Somebody... I don't understand. A, a, a big publication, they don't, like, you set yours up beforehand they don't I, do that? I can't I cannot explain how it happened would it have been better for you had it gone live on their thing first I mean I you know who knows um, do you need water no I'm okay okay um, who knows what would have happened I imagine the same exact outcome though okay if it if it had been on the cover of Vanity Fair it, I imagine it would still have the same outcome you know it would just it would have upset the same people it upset so I wake up to a bunch of emails, I answer them, I do a couple interviews, everything's you know, somewhat normal. And then the, I guess, I guess the next thing was the ice, people started saying that she was an ISIS and then it started to snowball down this rabbit hole. And Is then, he president already? He's president, yeah. And then she apologized and then the, the news media picked up on that, and then it had another wave, and then he commented on it. Now, to this point in my life, what I... What did he say? Uh, I don't remember. He, he tweeted something about it, you know, that he, he didn't like it. Um, and at this point in my life, I had seen a, a fair bit of controversy. I had seen a fair bit of people being upset with me. But I never understood the power of the presidency truly until it came down on me and I was I couldn't leave my house for two weeks I woke up the next day Why? there were 20 news vans mm -hmm. outside of my house the Secret Service was there FBI what, what are the Secret Service is doing for 20 days um, oh I got a great story about the Secret Service and we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors if you're looking for just the right flooring you need choices and at Marshall Carpet One, you'll certainly find them. And we're back. Um, so I don't know who these people are outside my house, right? I mean, obviously I can see news vans, but I see other cars. I see other people. I've texted my neighbors like, you know, do these people look sketchy? Like, what is this? And uh, the news vans slowly start to leave. Like, they're there for two or three days. What are they doing? Are they knocking on your door? Oh, my God. Just banging on the door. And you're All doing what day. my upstairs neighbors do and just pretend you're not there? Correct, yes. And make noise on your own? So here's what I did. I left the lights and the TV on 24 hours a day downstairs. What does that accomplish? That means that they can't hear you if you're moving around. Gotcha. So I'm blocking out the noise. Are you scared or are you annoyed? No, I'm not scared or annoyed. I know that I know at this point, and I think this is where I'm different than a lot of people. If you want to do something that makes world news, you have to be willing to deal with the consequences. So at any point in my life, like I know I'm doing something crazy, I may have to pay the price for it. That price may be you can't leave the house for two weeks. 
for the, where I connect to that is because I'm changing the world uh, and with my art is uh, the price I have to pay is getting constantly booed off stage. Exactly. Right. So this was me getting booed off stage mm -hmm. just in my own house. So um, news vans all leave. And then there's these guys outside my house every day, 7 a.m. They bang on the door and yell my name. These dudes are pretty buff, wearing like weird J.C. Penney style clothing. How does that not scare you? Do you know that it's Secret Service? No, yet? no, I don't know a Secret Service at so all. So how are you not scared? Listen, I you're not leaving your house, so obviously you're acting on fear. No, 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 I'm not leaving my house because. I know that down the street, I, there's a paparazzi waiting for me. So you're, you are more uh, fearful of the paparazzi taking a picture of you than these random strong guys? Uh, no, I'm not. This is the thing. I'm not scared of any of it. I made a decision that I'm just going to lay low. And that does what? So what, what I find about laying low is like... When I say something or when I do the next thing, I want it to be from me, not in someone else's control, right? So I'm not, you know, I took the picture. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to, you know, it, it is what it is. I did it. I can't go back. I can't undo it. Uh, I'm not, I remember you told me the FBI came to you. Uh, Secret Service, yeah. FBI, um, the FBI I had, to, I had to do a phone call with, but the Secret Service came to the house. And how did you find out there was Secret Service? So these two guys who were there for two weeks, one day they left. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm sorry, I can't get past the fact that for two weeks, 7 a.m., which already is uh, 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 so annoying. Yeah. I've been dealing with it for a year and a half with my neighbors. Yeah. But these aren't just neighbors. These are big guys. There's nothing inside of you. Like, the, why not say, hello, what is it, through the door? Why not acknowledge them? You're not curious. You're not scared. You're just, no. I know what this is. Yeah. I, I, I can't buy that. Oh, I believe uh, you believe that. Yeah, no, There's no. There's got to be something else to it. No, no, that's it. It's literally that simple. Now, now again, whereas you are very neurotic, I'm the exact opposite. I am just like, oh, who cares? I don't even think about it. Like, they knock on the door, I laugh. I'm just like... But you're not... But you don't know who it is. No. So, so there was a couple things. I, I, I'd sent a picture of them to a friend of mine, and he goes... How'd you I, get a picture of them? I, through the crack of the window. I have video and pictures, the whole deal. So, um, I mean, also, uh, you know, it's me. I can I get a picture of anything. Sure. Uh, I'll x-ray them through the door if I want. But uh, I sent a picture Pictures to, are fantastic, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I sent a picture to uh, a friend of mine, and he was like, they look like they might be serving you like a subpoena or something. And I said, oh, okay, cool. Uh, then I'm just going to wait it out because if they were serving me a subpoena, then they're a thousand to $2,000 a day. Somebody's just burning through that money. And eventually they'll say, all right, just stop. Okay. And so then after two weeks, they just stopped. And I was like, they might've been trying to serve me. And if you know, if you don't leave the house, you can't get served. So I was prepared like, I'm, I'm crazy. Like, I was just like, I'll stay in this house for two months if I have to. I mean, obviously now in a after the pandemic, that doesn't seem crazy. But, right. um, but I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll just lock it in. I don't, I don't got to go anywhere. I don't got to do anything. And how'd you find out a Secret Service? Because I want to move on past the okay, story. Yeah. I want to hear this. So they leave. I wait a day. No one's there. I go out and I finally walk around the block. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, Rick and I live in one of the best walking blocks in, in, walks. in Los Angeles, right? Great walks. So we would always run into each other walking. So I'm like, oh, thank God. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go on a walk. So I go, I start to do my walk. And as Rick does, I walk and I talk on the phone. So I'm on the phone with a friend of mine and I come back around, uh, you know, my block. And there are six SUVs. And now... These people are not dressed in plain clothes. They're in suits. They're real deal. And I'm like, on the phone with my friend, I go, okay, either the FBI or the Secret Service is literally standing on my lawn yeah, right your now. Your pieces and stuff, they look like what oh, you no. see in movies? Yes, exactly. The pin, the whole deal. What pin? The American flag? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I'm like, what do I do? And my friend goes, run for it. And I go, you can't, you can't run for it. I go, I'm going in. I'll call you back. So I just walk right up to them and I go, how you guys doing? And they're like, uh, great, we need to speak with you if, if that's okay. And I said, sure, would you like to come in? 
And they're like, yeah, that'd be awesome. So I said, all right. So I said, you know, there's How not- many people do you let in? I let two in. I said, you know, there's not really Same enough room. Guys. It was, it was the, the woman who was like, I think she's like the deputy director or something. I don't, I don't know what her title was, but her and, and another guy, those two guys weren't there. Okay. They come in, we sit down, they have a dossier on me. Apparently I was on a no-fly list. You know, they have like a whole book of all mm. my work. They ask me tons of questions about every photo. You know, they, they, they had done so much research on me. They Flattering. Knew, they knew everything. And, you know, the woman was like, she was very nice. She was super sweet. I, I had a great conversation with her. I actually really liked her. We've, you know, like... Dated for a few months. We, yeah, we dated. I mean, you know, we're married now. Um, no, but she was, uh, she was just super nice. She, she, you know, she was very disarming. When, when they sat down, I said, would you guys like some lemonade or can I get you some ice cream? And <laughs> that they laughed. And I was just like, okay, cool. Like, mm -hmm. these are, you know, they're personable. And they said, listen, we are not here at the direction of the president. We are an independent agency that has to, you know, check all threats, even, as, even if they seem crazy. And I said, great. So ask me anything you want, and I'll tell you the truth. And so we had a three or four hour conversation. Um, they were super nice. And whereas I think some people would be nervous in that situation, Again, all, why didn't you do that two weeks earlier? I didn't know that they were the Secret Service. It was very different. And, and again, you got to understand, there were a lot more random people outside the house. So, um, and obviously, if I had known that they were Secret Service, of course I would. But you didn't know them. they were Secret Service when you walked up to them. No, I didn't. But the suits made it seem more. Here's the thing. There were two options that were going to happen. Either they were going to uh, put a bag over my head and take me to Guantanamo, which I didn't seem think very likely, or they were government agents who wanted to talk to me. So the suits and the SUVs changed the whole thing. And I said to the woman, I go, who were those guys? And she goes, oh, those were our guys. I said, why were they in plain clothes? And she goes, we didn't want them to seem threatening. I go, <laughs> a suit is less threatening. Yeah. I go, the suit is way less threatening. I have a few more things I want to get, get into with you. Yes. So I want to I close this story up with my quest, last question of, is there something that happens with you and Kathy and that picture? And who owns that picture? So, you know, basically any photographer that takes the picture owns the picture. That's just the way the law works. So I own the picture. Um, but, you know, I think in the beginning, uh, one of the first things I said to Kathy day one when it happened, when she had gotten fired from Squatty Potty or, or uh, CNN or what, whatever her brand deals was, is I said, you need to sit down and you need to watch the Dixie Chicks documentary. And she was like, I think it was like called like Not Ready to Make Nice. And uh, she was obviously very upset. You know, this was a, it was a very crazy time. And I said, uh, if you do this right, um, this will be a documentary, which she made it into. This will be a part of your legacy, which it is. And you will be bigger than you ever would have been before. Now, this isn't me saying this about my photograph. This is just me understanding kind of how, you know, how that all works. Like when the Dixie Chicks were mad or, or when everyone was mad at them because of the George Bush thing, you know, they came back. I don't back. remember the George Bush thing. Yeah, they, they, they said something about George Bush. And in a song or I th an I, interview? I think in an interview. They said, I, th I think it was like, he's not my president or something along those lines. Amazing that being controversy today. Oh, and man, just people were burning the CDs and it was just, they were, they were done. And then it took them two years to come back. And, you know, look, I'm very happy for Kathy because... You know, she's, she sold out Carnegie Hall two nights in a row. I mean, she's, she's done things now that I don't know that any female comedian's ever done. And uh, she had a sold out tour. And she, I mean, she's, you know, she's, I, I don't think she, I, I think the only thing is she doesn't host the New Year's thing. But other than that, I mean, her career is seemingly perfectly fine and, and maybe even better than ever, which right, is, me, which is awesome. Let me yeah. ask you some yeah. other stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah.